As additional Russian sanctions are being prepared by the G7, Zelensky is anticipated to attend the Japan meeting. As they get ready to meet with Volodymyr Zelensky this weekend, who officials said was planning a dramatic trip to Japan as he continues to appeal for military support amid Russia's invasion, U.S. President Joe Biden and other world leaders unveiled tough new sanctions on Russia. The latest restrictions are meant to close gaps and target underutilized industries as Western officials continue to work toward stifling Moscow's ability to fund conflicts. As Ukrainian soldiers get ready for a counteroffensive, authorities were anticipated to discuss the situation often. The U.S. will increase its sanctions powers and impose additional designations across Europe, the Middle East, and Asia to more specifically target Russia's economy. As part of its most recent sanctions on Moscow, the UK stated it will prohibit the purchase of Russian diamonds, Downing Street said on Friday. The action attempts to curtail one of Russia's few surviving export sectors, which had mostly escaped the already severe Western sanctions. According to UK regulations that will be implemented later this year, imports of copper, aluminum, and nickel with a Russian provenance will also be prohibited. Amid a potential US debt default, which his advisors warned may undermine US leadership and destabilize the global economy, Biden meets with other foreign leaders on Friday in Japan. The risk seems more pressing as Biden tries to persuade other G7 leaders to support a unified stance toward China and Russia. The group is anticipated to announce further sanctions against Moscow on the first day of the summit meetings as a reaction to the invasion of Ukraine that depends on the stability of the American financial system. It is unclear how much the debt stalemate would come up in Biden's meetings in Hiroshima, but several European officials said that they had traveled a similar path in the past when American leaders sought to prevent financial catastrophe only to find a solution at the 11th hour. As talks to raise the U.S. borrowing ceiling continue in advance of June 1st, the earliest day by which the U.S. can run out of money to pay its obligations, Biden cut short his trip to Asia and flew back to Washington. The person cited a sanctions regime on Russia that depends on the stability of the U.S. financial system and saying that even the possibility of default has the capacity to reduce American diplomatic influence. That is never more obvious than in Russia's continuing conflict in Ukraine. This Friday, the war will be a major topic of discussion for world leaders.